In this section, we are going to talk about oscillator and voltage-controlled oscillator. What is oscillator? It's an electronic circuit that produces a periodic oscillating electronic signal of a sine wave or a square wave. So, it's a device that produces sine wave. And uh, sometimes if you use the oscillator, we just have a, a constant frequency. But uh, we will un we will uh, learn that if we um, design a controlled oscillator, we can also change the frequency of the wave. Oscillator converts a direct current from a power supply to alternative current signal. They are widely used in many electronic devices. So, as you see, the only input of uh, oscillator is a is a power supply and uh, it's constant so we don't have any input for our oscillator it doesn't have any input uh, it, it just has an output and uh, it, pro it it produces uh, it produces a signal which is periodic sine or cosine wave and uh, what is the purpose of using actually uh, oscillator here is important if you remember, as we said that we have a mixer, and here it's a down conversion because we are coming, we are trying to move to a frequency shift from high frequency to intermediate mediate frequency. So this is down conversion. As we said, we need a carrier. We need a carrier because so because uh, we need a signal. Carrier, we need a signal which has a high frequency. And we need to multiply this signal by our signal. It can happen in down conversion or up conversion. It doesn't matter. We need to have a, a signal which has a high frequency, which has a radio frequency. So this is the pur purpose of uh, using local oscillator. We want to produce a signal that has a high frequency without having an input, actually. We have two oscillator types, relaxation and harmonic oscillators. The relaxation oscillator is a class of circuits with two unstable states. The circuits switch back and forth between these states. The output is generally square wave. Which is not the case that you know we are talking about now. We generally use the harmonic oscillators in RF. They are used in at the, as this class of circuits are capable of producing a stable sinusoidal waveform with a low phase noise. Uh, so actually, let's talk about the phase noise a bit again here. I'm, I'm f emphasizing that we will explain noise, uh, phase noise in upcoming topics in details. Don't worry. But uh, what we want from actually, you know, from our oscillator. So if we have an oscillator, the first one is, is normally. I mean, we have, we want to have a you know frequency. And uh, we actually sometimes we want to you know uh, we want this signal to be this uh, frequency to be stable that's the problem uh, you know that's the challenge of designing uh, oscillator and also sometimes we want to have a low power because as we said that you know we have a vcc here uh, we have a vcc here and uh, we have a current here, so this is related to power. We, we are trying to, you know, produce our signal with a minimum power available. But the most important part is here is a stable sinusoidal waveform, is a phase noise. As we explained, we want to have a signal stable like this. We don't want the phase of signal change. So imagine that here, a signal starts changing its phase with the same frequency and like it changed like you know this part this is this is the problem that uh, you know we will explain it about it later but uh, for now just uh, know that these are these two are the most important challenges that we have here if the first one is the power of our uh, oscillator the second one the uh, having a stable sin uh, sinusoidal waveform uh, we can also uh, talk about some harmonic oscillators here. Uh, uh, the example is that they have actually two types. The feedback oscillator, this is the first one. This is a positive feedback uh, circuit here. Positive uh, 
feedback. Sorry. And actually, we're not going to talk about this in details, but just uh, for a you know, summary, you can know that we for this, we need an amplifier and uh, we need a positive feedback as here. So we don't have actually input as we told. Now basically, imagine that a signal uh, is produced with an amplifier. It comes with a positive feedback. So it's going inside the loop and this signal is always here in, inside the loop. So we have oscillation. The second one is uh, used commonly and it's so popular is using negative resistance and the idea is here if we have a RLC circuit uh, basically we will have a uh, you know response like this it's gonna go be stable and finish as we know from the control engineering so basic idea of this circuit to to design a negative resistance that we can cancel out this R with the negative resistance. So now we have only C and L, the pure C and L without any resistance. Resistance. So if we don't have any resistance, this C and L can uh, produce a, a sinus wave uh, and it can oscillate. But generally, you know, it's uh, it doesn't oscillate because even if you put a C and L and don't put a resistance, this uh, inductor has a resistance as you know, itself so uh, it makes our circuit to you know go and like you know the energy here will decrease and, so, and at last it stops the last section is a voltage control oscillator a voltage control oscillator or VCO is an electronic oscillator whose oscillation frequency is controlled by a voltage input yeah sometimes we have to control the frequency for example we want to use our uh, oscillator in a wide band ra range so we have to produce uh, different kind of frequencies and we are not only limited to produce one only one frequency then we use a voltage controlled oscillator imagine the voltage controlled oscillator is the same oscillator but it has one input this time and the input is a voltage as we increase our voltage as you see in this uh, figure when we increase our voltage, our frequency increases. So it has a, a linear you know, relationship. The, the frequency has a, a stable, has a linear uh, relationship uh, with um, tune voltage. As you see here, we're increasing our frequency, increasing here. And if we want to write the you know uh, equation relationship, is like that. We always have a, a constant frequency, and uh, this this is also constant. So if we if we want to change this v in this is the gain gain if we want to change this v in our frequency will change and this is how voltage controlled oscillator works thank you for watching our video please don't forget to subscribe you can learn about this topic and more using our website the complete course on this topic is provided on our website at www.rasoft.com. Rasoft is providing a complete certificate on radio frequency. The RF basic concepts and fundamentals course is provided free at our website. The courses are complete step-by-step -step approach with quiz and examples and certificate of completion will be provided upon finishing each course. By taking the required courses in RF system and IC design with pass status, RASOFT would provide the RASOFT radio frequency certificate. The topics are chosen with advice from RF engineers in top industry companies like Apple, Qualcomm, Broadcom and Skyworks who are missing candidates with these skills.